Hunter's Path. Finding my way. It's go time. to ask. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. 
Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the Druid Halson. Parasites in your head? You mean you have one of them? Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? looks very alien. As alien as the Mind Flayers. They do not belong on this world. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let me tell you what I know. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say... I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles. But I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. Indeed. After we dealt with the drow that ambushed us, Nettie and I were able to inspect the corpse and the creature that slithered out of it. I had no idea anyone beyond their ranks was infected. You have my sincere sympathies. No, this is different. Altered. The magic used is beyond me. It's either not of this world or so ancient as to be lost to even nature's memory. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. Gladly, but first I must return to the grove. As you made short work of the goblins' leaders, there's nothing stopping me. Come join me in your own time. I can see to some matters there, and we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here. <laughs>